Hey everybody, this is Alma coming to you from Long Beach, California. Today is Thursday, um, but you're probably not going to see this until Friday, December 4th of the year 2020. And as you can see from the title of the video, um, this is going to be a special edition of my Foster channel. Um, today I wanted to go ahead and do an end of year whip parade and show you all of the projects that I have going so far, um, which are quite a few. There are 54 of them. So hopefully um, we can get through them as quickly as possible. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to welcome you all um, to my channel. Welcome back to you, all of you returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you as ever for your continuing support. And I wanted to do a special thank you to all of you that have reached out via the um, Buy Me A Coffee link and have um, helped me out and donated. Um, I've been blown away by the response I've been receiving. Um, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'll go ahead and continue to leave the link down below in the description of my videos. If you missed my last um, announcement, I essentially um, spoke about the possibility of adding mid-video ads to videos um, for the sake of getting a little bit of income since California is back on a very restrictive tier. Um, even as of last night, um, so even since my video, things have gotten even worse. Um, we're back to an essential travel only allowed order. So pretty much back to, uh, to how we were back in March. So I wanted to um, explore the possibility of adding the mid video ads for the sake of ha having a little bit of income. Um, but I did want to leave the buy me a coffee link open. Um, in case people wanted to bless bless him in case my my um in case people wanted to donate and help out that way so thank you again to all of you that have helped out um and of course i, I also wanted to welcome any new viewers and subscribers um or new viewers and hopefully future subscribers um i know that a lot of people like to start watching new channels with whip parades because it's an easy way to just get up to speed so welcome to everybody i hope that you like what you see you find a reason to stay and subscribe and continue to follow me on my stitching journey um so i think i have everything i need i've got my notes i've got my tablet to show you guys some of the um patterns that I don't have printed so you can at least see the product image product image um, before showing you the progress um, yeah um, I have only so I've only had one finish since my last whip parade um, and that was a gift so I don't have the finished product to show you guys how I like to do my whip parades is I like to have them in such a way that if you were to skip all the videos in between parades you still wouldn't miss anything so that's going to be the only exception, I guess. I'll just go ahead and just mention it and say that I've started it, finished it, and move on. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started since the, the video in Spanish that I filmed yesterday was um, like over two hours long. I had to, and it actually capped out. I had to split it up into two videos. So hopefully this is not going to cut out because of full storage, <laughs> which was an issue. Um, Okay, and I'll go ahead and show these in chronological order. Um, yeah, from oldest whip to newest whip. So the oldest whip, the oldest whip I have, is my Hogwarts Castle at Night pattern by the Stitching Girl on Etsy. I started this in June of um, 2018, so June 26th specifically. Um, this is no longer available on her Etsy shop, but there are quite a few people that have charted the same image, so you can still find it. Um, if you look for it. And this is what I have so far. This is um, 78,000 stitches so far. So when you last saw it, well, since my last whip parade, that was at 69,000 stitches. So I've done quite a bit of work on it. Um, most of it has been on this bottom area below, all black. I do want to try to focus a lot on the black. Um, so I can get it out of the way, but then I also um, I'm trying to do it in such a way that I can still keep moving the Q-snap So I have finished this page as well with the Great Hall um, Which looks so cool once it's finished <laughs> um, 
it's, it's it just it always feels nice to fill in all the confetti pieces but yeah um so the goal for next year is to finish it completely um i still if i reach the 80k goal which i probably will this year i'll i'll have 42,000 stitches to do to finish it so hopefully i can do it um and just a disclaimer uh, to kind of try to keep I will go ahead and try to mention all the materials and everything but unless otherwise stated all of my full coverage pieces are done two over one on 18 count data 18 count wide data that's just my go-to I find that I like the coverage my oldest whip or second oldest whip I suppose is a heaven and earth designs chart based on Zindi Nielsen's artwork this is Mimi one and I started this back in August of 2018, August 30th. So a couple of months after I started Hogwarts Castle. And this was um, one of the first Heaven and Earth Designs charts that I started. I, um, and since it was one of the first, I went ahead and bought the material pack, which I'm probably not gonna do. It was a bit expensive, but I, I haven't done it ever since. And I don't think I'll do it again. Um, but this is what I have so far. There has not been any progress since the last whip parade or since um, I had already reached the goal of 25,000 stitches. Um, I have 27 stitches done so far. And the goal for 2021 is to do um, 54,000 stitches. So I want to double it at least. Um, maybe I can, I, I'm hoping to finish this since it is one of my oldest pieces. Um, but first I'll go ahead and hit the, the 54,000 goal and then we'll see, we'll see, um, where I'm at. And the fabric for that is still 18 count, but I did get the 18, the easy guide, which is where the, um, with the gridded are already in it. <laughs> um, the next week, the next whip is, uh, Sleeping Beauty by Stitch, Stitch Fairy Treasures, I believe her name is. Mm. Yeah, Stitch Fairy Treasures on Etsy. I started this in January of 2019, so January 6th, 2019. And she does have um, uh, like an entire collection going of several Disney princesses. There's Aurora, um, Sleeping uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast, uh, Little Mermaid, Jasmine. She has quite a few. And again, no progress since the last whip parade, since the goal for this year was to finish the page that I was at, which was um, this top page right here. I did go ahead and start the next page because I had um, a task to finish for Magical Stitches. So the goal for this year is to finish that top page that I started, which will include, I think, um, I think like maybe like the top of her head. So it's definitely gonna include the crown, I don't know if it'll cover her eyes or not, um, but that is um, that one. Um, it, it's kind of hard to work on it because it's not pattern keeper compatible, but I try to make do. Um, the next piece I have is a realist kit. This is called Line Like Evening. And it did come for with 14 count Zweigardeta, um, like a beige color, I suppose. And it uses anchor floss. So that's the floss that I'm using for her. Again, it all came with a kit. And um, there's been not that much progress since my last whip parade. This is what I have so far. I kind of, I think I used this for like one task for my magical stitches group. So I kept going with the with the hat, but there's not that much progress um, since the last whip parade. So the goal for this year was to finish it. Since that didn't happen, I'll go ahead and make that 2021 goal. So finish the stitching at least. And who knows, maybe do the beading because um, it does have quite a bit of beads um, for the hat. Um, and I started that in February of 20, 2019. Um, February 1st specifically. The next one that I started, I'm gonna try to like not rustle so much here. The next one that I started was um, a mania start. Um, 
I had tried to start it um, previously, but I just didn't um, find a group with it. So I decided to kind of leave it off and then I picked it back up in Romania of 2019. This is watercolor floral and the Etsy shop is called Stitchery Stitch, which is right here at the top. This is still available. Um, for the most part, I'll try to mention if um, if any of the patterns aren't available. Um, but this this is still there. I checked, or last time I checked, it was still there. And um, again, last whip parade, I had already reached my goal, so there hasn't been too much progress. And apologies for, for the lighting. Um, we have there's a, another fire <laughs> in Irvine as of last night. So I had to make do with overhead lighting and I have got another light here. Anyways, um, this is what I have so far. Uh, the goal for, for next year, for 2021, is to go ahead and finish these two side pages. They're partial pages, partial pages. Um, there's not much to them, or at least it doesn't look like there's much to them. So I think it'll be a good goal to have and go ahead and finish the top half of the design. Um, okay, next one is uh, was another mania start. Um, this is Moon Charmer by Heaven and Earth Designs. And this is artwork by Amy Stewart. It's technically the select the size, but um, I mean, there was no rhyme or, there was no rhyme or reason other, other than it was a little bit smaller than the original. So um, I started this and um, I, I liked it because it reminded me of um, the characters from the World of Warcraft game. There's some elves going around, um, but I've always liked anything fantasy. So, um, so I picked it up and this is what I have so far. So from the last wood parade, last or Last week prayed, I checked in at 21,000 stitches, and right now I have 40,000 stitches, which was the new goal that I set for myself. It was originally um, 50, but I knew that I wasn't going to be making it that far, so I just capped it at 40. Um, most of it has gone to, I filled in the spaces in the sky um, from the last week parade. And I, of course, kept going on the tree right here. This Most of it have, was done in this area. So yeah, um, I always like working on this one. Again, it, it makes me happy. I really like the image. I love the colors, even if it is a little bit of black. <laughs> um, so the goal for next year is a hefty one. I want to reach 75,000 stitches. Um, and the reason why I made it a hefty goal is because this is one of the few projects that I have like all kitted up because again it was one of the first um, hates that I started so you know when, when I first started doing hates I was going all in so kept buying all the things so that one is completely kitted so I thought it would be a good go-to piece because I didn't have to worry about buying materials since again money is tight um, so hopefully I can do it <laughs> next piece is Flowers of the Alphabet, which is by Lemonada. So lemon and then Ada, as in the fabric, on Etsy. And I'm doing this a little bit differently. Um, I'm using a beige fabric. And instead of using the for colors, I'm using just, I'm de-stashing. Um, I always have left floss left over, especially from kits, like dimensions and stuff. Um, and I don't like wasting, so I always keep them. So there's again not much progress to show, if any. I don't. I don't think I stitched on this at all. I only have this little flower done, or not even done, or started. <laughs> so I originally uh, said that I would go ahead and finish five flowers, but I think I'll go ahead and shoot for um, at least six so I can finish that top row however I do like use I do want to use this for um, whenever we have like acrostic uh, tasks on magical stitches stitch on something that starts with blank um, and you sometimes um, and um, enchanted stitching does this too sometimes they require 
they require you to stitch on the object that starts with that letter. So I may just stitch from all over the place. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, the next piece, um, and that was started on um, October 10th. Um, sorry, I, sometimes I forget to say when I started stuff. I'll try not to, but in November, I started a ton of stuff, mostly tilt and crafts charts. This is the first one that I started. This is Wonder Woman, Warrior Princess. The artwork is by Daniel Cordick. He's my favorite. If you watch my previous videos, then you'll know. Um, she's just beautiful and his art is amazing. So I started her and the goal for her was to um, reach 10,000 stitches, which I did. Last time I showed it to you, I was at 8,500 stitches. So I went ahead and um, finished it up. I did, what is that, 1,500 stitches left um, in order to achieve the goal, which did bring me to a few colors over here, which made me really happy. Um, but I also tried to fill in all the grays and the blacks up here, um, which is great because um, I think I only have a little bit of ways to go over here and kind of in this general area before I hit her, the top of her head. So I'm really happy about that one. For this one, um, I want to go ahead and shoot for 20,000 stitches. Um, <clears throat> we'll see if I can get through it. But I, I am enjoying stitching on this now that I have a little bit more, more colors to work with. The next one I started a couple of days later on November 6th was um, Esmeralda. This is a Daniel Cordic um, design charted by Tilton Crafts. Um, I love Hunchback and Notre Dame. I love Disney and Hunch Hunchback is my favorite Disney movie so I couldn't not stitch this up. This is no longer available so yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure Wonder Woman is still available however this is not all the pattern is no longer available. I was made aware of that by a viewer who was trying to look for it and couldn't find it. So um, power through this okay okay so here we go <laughs> um there hasn't been much progress since my last web parade or any i guess um since i did reach my goal by the time i filmed my last web parade for this year for 2021 i want to reach at least 30,000 stitches for this um i love the colors i just love love the colors for this it's beautiful it's one of the few pieces where I don't mind working on background. <laughs> and then um, at the end of November, on November 23rd, I started the next Tilt and Crafts chart by Daniel Cordick. This is Snow Girl. And I used this this year for Full Coverage Fanatics 20 and 20 challenge. Um, so I was able to do actually 22,000 stitches well, reach, I should say, because I already had like 1,500 stitches done by the time the year started and the challenge started. So overall, I did, I've done 22,000 22, stitches. So here we are. Um, this does have a border, a white border going all around it. So most of the, not most, but uh, um, quite, uh, quite a chunk of those 20,000 stitches did go into the border. Um, but of course, since the last time you saw this, I filled in some of the holes that I had going um, around. And of course, I filled in the apple. And that was actually uh, per your request, because I did ask viewers if they would rather see more background filled in or if they wanted me to work on the apple. So the apple one, I still have some um, colors to do around it, but it's mostly done. Which is very exciting and for this one I also want to uh, hit 30,000 stitches so I only had 8,000 stitches to do on this one um, but again I'm trying to get progress done on everything and everything the next piece I started um, I started in honor of Sagia um, Lady Wing Designs birthday on November 26th and I started in 2019 this is June by Anna Dittman, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And um, 
I, I kind of chose this because it had a lot of yellow tones and she loves the color yellow. So, um, yeah, this is how it goes. So here's what I have so far. Um, so since the last time you saw this, I'm gonna try to fold it so that I can show it to you guys easier and not like struggle, but I'm still struggling. Since the last time you saw this, I added a lot more of the green. Um, last time I, um, according to this, I was at 7k and since then I did reach the goal of 10,000 stitches, most of the, which was done in that, um, greenish tone. But then I also reached the edge of the rose petal down here. So yeah, so here it is. For next year, I want to do um, 15,000 stitches at least. To reach, I should say, reach 15,000 stitches. Um, again, I'm trying to keep my goals as low as possible because I want to touch all of my whips. But if inspiration calls, if the mojo calls for it, I'll go ahead and just maybe make it 20,000 stitches. <laughs> um, it all depends. It just depends on my mood. Um, after that, I did have another start that I finished, which I showed in my last whip parade, the teacup display. I started it on December 19th, or December 28th, 2019, and I finished it in May, back in May. So I showed you guys the finished piece last whip parade. And then uh, the next thing I started was Bilbo's Home by Mandrix Designs. This was my new year, new start. And I had high hopes of finishing it by the end of the year. It would have been really nice. It, it's just not gonna happen. Um, but I got two thirds done, at least. <laughs> this is what I have so far. Uh, the last whip parade, I think I had just started on the sky. So since then, I've done everything. Um, that is like the the scenery <laughs> overlooking, or what Bilbo's looking at, I suppose. And of course, Bilbo himself. So anything within the circle was what I worked on. And I think I still, I'm still slowly but surely working my way down. So, cause I, I do want, since I am stitching it in hand, um, I am just slowly but surely working my way downwards. So this will definitely be finished um, within the first couple of months. It's, it's going to be a focus. Um, because again, I wanted to have it finished by the end of the year, but that just didn't happen. The next piece I started, um, I started in um, January 17th, was my Disney Villain Ladies by Zana Kostic. And um, this is split up into four parts, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it as one whole whip. Um, I had, I wanted to finish the first panel um, by the end of this year with the Evil Queen. Again, not happening. <laughs> I only got to 8,000 stitches done. So this is what I have so far. Um, since the last video, so the last video I had, I had completed the crown and I had just started working on some of the confetti within her face. So since that video, I finished her face and kind of started working on the confetti for the rest of her body. So again, um, since I wasn't able to reach that goal this year, I went ahead and just slotted it for 2021. So hopefully by the end of the year, I'll have a full panel to show you guys. Um, yeah, I was very, I had really unrealistic uh, expectations for this one. But it's okay, I still like, I still enjoy working on it, despite all the confetti. Uh, the next piece that I started was one of my um, kits. I still have, I still, I, even though a lot of my projects are now PDF patterns, I still buy some kits if I like them. This is uh, one of them. This is the, the Dimensions Gold Collection um, stacked teacups. It's one of the petite designs, the smaller designs. And um, I started it in, uh, on February 1st. I had, I had hoped to get halfway done with this by the end of the year not it didn't really happen in fact there's not much progress to show since my last whip parade i kind of 
filled in more of the leaves over here and I started um, working on one of the teacups. I think I used this for a task or two and then that's it <clears throat> since my last whip parade. Um, so I want to go ahead and try to finish it by this year. Um, and then, sorry, I have um, a method. I, I think I have a method to work on these, um, but we'll have to see how. <laughs> it's all good in theory, but sometimes that's as far as it goes. <laughs> in practice, not so much. Um, the next piece that I have to show you is um, a piece that I started with Zakia. Again, Lady Wing Designs. We both started this on Leap Day. This is Mystic Stitch, a Change of Seasons. I don't know who the designer is, like the artist. It says photo provided by Brand X Images and Fine Art. Or Brand X, I guess. <laughs> um, but we both wanted to go ahead and work on this and try to finish it by not this, the not the next leap day, but the following one in eight years. So this is what I have so far. Since my last video, um, as you can see, I added a couple more colors. Um, on the last video, I had 6,000 6, um, stitches done, and I now have 10,500 stitches down. So I did some. Most of it was done in yellow over here. I just started adding more colors. I originally wanted to just finish the first color, but it was getting really tedious and boring. So I just decided to go ahead and just start more colors for the sake of variety. And it ended up being exactly what I needed. Um, I still have quite a bit to do on this. I would like to get at least 48 stitches done. 48,000, I should say 48,000 stitches done. I have to get cracking on this if I, if I want to keep up with the goal that we set ourselves, I should say. Um, Cause yeah, by that point will be two years no, one year, two years, two years. So yeah, so I have to keep, I, I would like to keep up. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> Somebody suggested to stitch on each season as we went along. So um, I think I'll try to do that, to kind of keep myself entertained, but we'll see. The next piece I have, which I started in April 1st of 2020 was my Haku piece. This is designed by Ekaterina, Ekaterina Saitova. And um, I was just really excited to find a spirited away pattern because there's not many around. This is Haku, the dragon spirit. Um, and uh, please hold, my needle minder wants to stick to other needle minders. So this is what I have so far. Um, since the last whip parade, I finished, well, not finished, but I started on the dragon. So as you can see, I filled in some of his face and body. And that's pretty much all I have left to do is just finish his, his body and then that'll be it. I'm, I, I'm constantly kicking myself for not finishing this before the end of the year. There's no reason that I have, I, there's no excuse. It's, I mean, it, and it's kind of hard to see because of the lighting uh, and this fabric always shows up really weirdly on camera, but, um, cause this is all supposed to be white over here. <laughs> see, you can kind of tell now. Um, but yeah, I just have to finish his body and then this will be done. Um, so yeah, so this is definitely going to be a focus like within the first couple of months of, of, um, 2021 so I can finish it get it over with and that's it um the fabric that I used for that one is a random piece of 14 count data um I think I got it from like the barter group on cross uh cross stitch barter group on Facebook um I think I traded like threads or white data or something for it so I don't necessarily know where it came from <laughs> um yeah I don't remember and also, fun fact, that was one of the first starts, one of many first starts, or one of many starts since the lockdown. This was the next one. This is um, Be Brave 
this I think the official name of it it's a dimensions kit that I just found on Joanne's on sale so I got it um, and again I thought I was gonna be able to finish it by the end of the year because it's a fairly simple stitch but I mean I got distracted by other things but this is what I have so far since the last video I did give her eyes <laughs> I filled in her eye and of course I did go ahead and focus more on uh, Beast's face, and I think I also stitched some of his jacket. I think that's that's that wasn't there last time. Um, so yeah, so this was uh, this was just one of those things where I think I used it for a couple of um, tasks or challenges for my groups, and that's it. So I'll definitely focus more on it. On it. I do want to finish it this year, 2021. Um, the next one that I have to show is somewhere. Okay. There we go. I switched it with the other project. Good. Okay. So, <laughs> um, I have, oh, so that's uh, something I should have mentioned. This chair right here is where I have all of them. They're all like stacked up. It's insane. But this was my next start. I started this on May 14th of 2020. This is by um, fellow floss tuber Yanni, Yanni Stitcher. Um, I, I was originally interested in her Mexicanita um, pattern because um, again, Seguilla was stitching it and I always liked it. And so, But then I saw this one and I had to have it as well. And this is what I have so far since then. And again, I'm sorry for the lighting. Um, I did do the face, most of the face, but I actually have to frog it, unfortunately, because I made a mistake, didn't correct it, thought I could work around it, and then that ended up being leading to another mistake, which ended up leading to another mistake, so on and so forth. So I have to frog it, because the eyes were gonna be lopsided. Um, but yeah, so essentially, I think, th I think that pretty much is back to square one, like as it was <laughs> from the last whip parade. But I do want to focus on this. And again, another finish. It's a small pattern, but at least, at least finish the border, the, the banner, the banner border. After that, um, as, as a last, I think it was one of my last Mania starts, or um, I started a lot of things in Mania this year, um, but I did start this with test stitches, um, another floss tuber, and I think she's also uh, test stitches on Instagram. This is Mini Midnight Stroll. The artwork is by Julie Fain. It's chartered by Tevin New Designs. So this is why I blew out the Mini One design is because it's it's really tiny. It's it's super tiny on the on the cover patterns or the cover photos. But this is going to be a gift, so I do want to make this a focus this year. Um, this is what I have done so far. According to my notes, I was at 4K when I showed this to you guys in the last whip parade. I now have 11,000 um, stitches done. So last time I only had the one color done, or the one dark color, the 939 I think, and one of the purple colors. So everything else that you see is, is what I've done. Again, I wanna make this a priority because it is a gift. I want to hit at least 50. 50k in 2021 um because it's for my goddaughter and she she turns three this weekend can't deal so yeah i want to have it done before she you know she she graduates high school <laughs> okay uh the next thing i started was um another kit so and this is going to be another one of those when I haven't I haven't done any progress, but this is a mason jar lineup by Dimensions. Um, super popular kit for a while. It was hard to find, and I really like the image. I remember looking all over the place for it, but um, yeah, no progress to show. I only have like five stitches done. Actually, it's backwards. It's this way. Can you see? Like, yeah, I actually do. I do have this slotted for 
work this week um, because we have to have at least 200 stitches done on all of our whips for the No New Starts 2021 challenge, which um, the group is going to close on Friday, December 4th. So if you're watching this on the day that it loads, you only have like a few hours until midnight, I guess, <laughs> um, if you do want to join. And answer the questions if you do want to join answer the questions before you join the group because otherwise you're not going you're not going to get accepted you're going to get booted asked to ask the questions anyways um the next thing is i i started so again i started a lot of things in mania <laughs> um a lot of people decided to group you know band together and start a lot of carolyn manning designs hashtag manic manning style 2020 and I originally wasn't gonna join, but then I saw this design and I thought, yeah, sure, why not? I can stitch this up. This is sea glass. Um, and she does a lot of geometric patterns like this. Um, and I just loved those tones. I love teals, I love um, blue greens and stuff. So this is what I've done so far. I've only done a thousand stitches since I last showed it to you guys. So I finished up this, um, this block of nine by nine squares. And I think I did some of the darker teals um, over here and some down there as well. So not a whole lot to show. I am gonna use this for another task that I have this week for whip wranglers on um, semi sane stitchers, which is another, a, a new group that I just joined because <laughs> I'm not part of enough groups already. Um, but for next year, I do want to hit 14,000 stitches because again, it didn't get too much love this year and I want to fix it. So hopefully I can get that done um, because um, I do have a few of her patterns. I have butterfly weeds, I think, and I'd like to get those um, stitched up as well. Obviously not for, not for next year because I'm not starting anything, but 2022. The next pattern, I don't have the cover picture of. Um, it's ink circles. Uh, it's relentless, and I don't think I have any progress to show either. But here it is. I started this for uh, June 1st for Pride Month, since um, the pattern is in commemoration of when same-sex same -sex marriage was legalized here in the United States back in 2015. And I am gonna give this to a friend of mine. Um, so yeah, I should I should get work. I should I should really get some work on it because it is supposed to be a gift as well. Um, but he he's not he's not like waiting for it or anything. So, but I do want to finish at least the outline for it. Maybe and one or two more colors. Um, I don't know. Um, again, go go check out Zagia's. Um, Zagia's channel or Zagia's Instagram because she's finished it and she's. She's done an amazing job for it with it. Um, the next one that I started is um, this was started in June 13th. And this is Mini Soaring Free 2. This is by Joan Marie and chartered by Heaven and Earth Designs. It's a fairly popular pattern. A lot of people I know are stitching it. Um, and I've always I've always loved the colors on this one. So it was one of the first patterns that I bought um, when I first discovered Haid. And um, not much progress to show, I guess. Um, the last time I showed you guys, it was 800 stitches. So I had only done like some of the eight squares here. Um, I sit, I, I've done 2000 stitches so far. I'm trying to fight the lighting here, but um, the the thing about this is I started doing this with parking, so I decided to not <laughs> not do parking. I decided it wasn't my thing. So so yeah, um, at least I started with some other colors. For this year, I do want to hit fifteen thousand stitches. Um, hopefully, I can do it. Thirteen thousand thirteen thirteen thousand stitches. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> um, after that, on June 28th, 
I started um, a companion piece to June. Ironically, I started July and June. Um, so this is July. This is July by Anna Dittman, chartered by Heaven Nerve Designs. And I started this with um, Tess from Tess Stitches. I, I think we started this for her birthday. I'm pretty sure that's how it went. Um, so we both love purple and purple tones. So we both had to had to stitch that design. Um, so this is what I have here. I'm gonna fold it so I can show you guys better. But this is what I have done so far. This side so I can see. <laughs> um, so not too much progress to show. I, um, according to my notes, I'm still, yeah, I'm still at 1,400 4, stitches, so mm, there's like threads all over the place. There we go. A little bit easier to see. Um, I'd like to hit at least 10,000 stitches this year. Because again, it didn't get much much love this year, so for 2021, I want to make up for it and hit 10k. Um, and the next thing I started, I started for um, my boyfriend's birthday. Uh, this is the Horde flag from um, Up to Cross Stitch is the shop name, and this is a symbol from the World of Warcraft. Um, game <laughs> um, that we both love. We love playing it. We've been playing it a lot together lately since the new expansion just released. So we've just been having a blast exploring the new content and leveling up and all that good stuff. So um, let me go ahead and just put this behind so you can see. This is what I have done so far. And um, According to my notes here, I had 300 stitches when I showed you guys. So I think I started this in this curve right here. So here we are. I am at 2,300 stitches now. So I did 2,000 stitches in the last uh, few months. Most of which was done like, within the last couple of weeks because I've just been inspired. <laughs> um, so yeah, so what I'm trying to do is because I'm stitching this in hand as well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to just do the top and then just work my way down. So yeah, next stitch, um, it only uses like three colors, so it's not that um, it's not that difficult. Um, I usually just pop in a movie or something, or even while we're playing, <laughs> I'll go ahead and um, like if we, I have to wait for something, um, I'll go ahead and stitch while while we wait. So I'd like to get that done as soon as possible as well because I want to have something to hang. I want to hang it like right there, right here, right up there. Um, Cause that piece that you see right there is also a World of Warcraft piece. So it's a theme. <laughs> um, but that's done on 14 count Black Ada that I got at Joanne's, nothing fancy. And the next piece that, that I want to show you is another one of Anna Dittman's designs. So I guess I have a favorite. <laughs> Um, this is T, again, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, and this is, if, in case you're not familiar with it, it's Benedict Cumberbatch um, uh, as Sherlock Holmes. He plays Sherlock Holmes in the BBC series. So, this is what I have done so far. I don't know how I can't remember and I played back my whip parade and I didn't specify how many stitches I had done. I think I had like 800 stitches done when I showed you guys, but I'm not quite sure. I know that at least right now I have um, 1200 stitches done. I did some some stitching over here. I spread out up here and this area right here. So again, not exactly sure how much how much I did. But here we are. And for next year, I want to hit 15,000 15, stitches, um, at least, because again, I, I feel like whenever I start things like back to back to back to back, I never actually make any progress with them. So I want to make up for that. 
um, the next one that I started was um, another design that I found on Etsy. This is, I call it uh, um, Flowers of the Galaxy. It doesn't necessarily have a name. Oh, I'm like covering up the name. This is the shop name, 2x2 two two Stitch Art. And I did um, start this with a fellow stitcher slash fostuber, um, Shell, from Seashell Stitches. Um, and we actually, I think we're pretty much at the same pace, if I recall. Not quite sure, because she was waiting for her floss and I just was focused on other stuff. But this is what I have so far. The last time you saw this, I had only done this one flower. So here we are. And let me go ahead and get another piece of paper so you guys, here we go awkwardly holding this but yeah this is what I have done so far um from 400 stitches I, I've now done 2400 so I did 2000 stitches since my last update or whip parade I should say um and I do want to finish this it's um it's going to be a fairly quick stitch because I think there's only 6000 and something stitches in total so um it should be a fairly quick quick finish and again, just regular 14 count black Ada that I got at Joanne's. <laughs> again, nothing too fancy. But okay, I think what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here um, so that I have a, a relatively clean, clean um, ending as opposed to being cut off. So um, thank you for watching. Go ahead and jump on over to part two to see the rest of my of my madness. Um, Cause yeah, right now we're at, uh, 27 out of 54. So that's pretty much all. What do you know? That's literally halfway done. <laughs> I did not plan that out at all. Um, but okay, yeah, talk to you guys soon.